Salam Allah, peace and blessings to the streets. I'm your brother in the struggle, brother Minister Ali. And today we are going to build on something that we built on some years ago, but for whatever reason it resurfaced, short version. There's a book out that claims that Master Farad Muhammad debated with Albert Einstein, the Jewish scientist on the radio, station back in the 1930s uh, around 1996 97 um, sister Shahrazad Ali sent me a copy of the book and she sent it to me basically you know she knew I was into the messenger teachings so she basically was like asking is the book authentic and I explained to her I was not familiar with it let me investigate it I mean and um I've researched, I've read the book, researched the book, did the math, did the science. Long story short, the book is not true. The book is a, it's not a, it's not a fraudulent book. Um, the brother who actually wrote the book and made the book, um, he, my memory, this is back in like 1996. I believe he was a, either a five percenter or an FOI. I believe he was a five percenter. But I do remember, I got with him, he personally explained to me, he said, listen, bro, mister, what happened was this. I had to write um, a thesis for college. I was in school. I wrote it as a fictional account in school. And, you know, back then, you know, 5%ers, you know, they, they shared knowledge. And sometimes if somebody likes something, you know what I mean, they, they, they you know, want to want to share it with other people, and what somebody wound up doing is taking his thesis and, which was a f intentionally fictional account of basically saying, what if Master Farah Muhammad would have met down um, Mas um, Albert Einstein and had a debate? You know what I mean? And he explained the language in it and all that. It's, it's not even Master Farah Muhammad or Albert Einstein's, and historically. Um, when we did the math, it don't even add up as far as Albert Einstein and Master Muhammad being together in the same state. You know what I mean, the, um, my immediate position was, and I explained to him, it, it took me like every bit I say, like, I would say maybe 40 seconds. I was like, I extremely doubt it. You know what I mean, because Albert Einstein at that time, it's like Bill Gates. It's, it's like somebody in the future, say somebody 50 years from now saying, did the Honorable Elijah Muhammad meet up with Neil Armstrong? <laughs> I mean, or did the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan debate um, the guy that started Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or, you know what I mean, you know, the, the, the Tesla um, debate, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan on a, on a radio broadcast on um, some radio station in New York. It's like, if you put yourself back in that time, you'd be like, if, if the Honorable Elijah Muhammad debated Neil Armstrong, we would not be guessing about it. It would be front page news in Nation of Islam publications. The messenger would mention that in his lectures. Don't you think the ministers would brag about that? They would They would definitely talk about that. You know what I mean? Um, if um, the Honorable Minister Farrakhan debated Tesla or something like that, they on 60 Minutes or something, we, it'd be on the front page of the Final Call newspaper. So for Masfar Muhammad to debate the top scientists of his time, it, it, and we didn't know nothing about it to 1996. I mean, I, you know, I was like, 
you got to show and prove that. You can't show and tell that. You know what I mean? So there's a whole bunch of tricknology out there being spread around. You know what I mean? So I, I never believed it. But the, um, we did find a brother that actually made the book, that wrote it, and he explained that it wasn't, you know what I mean, no fraud or no intentional deception. He wrote it as a fictional account, and somebody reprinted it into a little booklet, and they were selling it on the vending stands in New York, and it just circulated every once it once it got in a little track form, it just went everywhere. And mathematically, um, 1996, our beloved goddess, Sister Sharazad Ali, sister who I love and respect, and I mean, she blessed me with a copy of the book, and I, I basically wrote her and let her know, and I mean, nah, that's not that's not an accurate. Um, history there. You know what I mean that's that's some some fiction that's a fictional account that was taken literally but not even intentionally and um those of you that uh was studying my literature back in the nineties we put on the front cover of our publication I put the whole book in there. I mean um as for Muhammad versus Albert Einstein and um, I, I, I explained the brother's name, how the book really came about, explained how it's not true. I mean, and that's how we, we dealt with that um, tricknology, if you will. Know what I mean, so keep keep your keep your third eye open. Know what I mean, meaning stay conscious. Know what I mean, if, if 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 it's not the messenger's message, it will not guide you through this age of mess. The struggle continues. One love, slam along. Oh, P.S. Postscript. Y'all can send any questions, comments, or suggestions you have about the life giving teachers of Ambalaj Muhammad, and I'll send you the answer either through email, phone, letter, depending if you're, if you're in prison and belly the beast, I'll write you. I mean, um, but um, you could reach me at ministerleaf at gmail.com. We'll put a link somewhere in here in Sean Lawson King and the P.O. box where you make for those of you that have to use snail mail. The strong continues. Slam along.